Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. The Logitech C920 has been the top, the most popular webcam around for the last few years. The quality of the video image that this thing throws out is just insane. So much so that a lot of video creators have been using this webcam to create video content over using an actual camera. Now Logitech has released the new C922 camera, which is this one, which is the upgrade from the C920. It's got some cool new features, but is it worth the upgrade? In this video, we'll take a look at both webcams and I'll run through everything you need to know if you're considering purchasing or upgrading. So starting off with the pricing, the C920 still sells for $54.99 US and the C922 sells for $88 US. So there's not a big difference between the two. So when you're looking at the two cameras side by side, you'll see that there's not a lot visually difference between the two. They have actually replaced the blue lights on the front of the C920 with dimmer yellow lights, so they don't stand out as much. And the only other really noticeable difference is that the Logitech logo is actually much bigger now on the C922. Both of these cameras have a fantastic hinged mounting system, which means you can mount it in a variety of ways or on different size monitors really easily. They also both have a standard tripod thread in the bottom so that you can mount them directly to the tripod. And included with the C922 is a mini tripod that you can use to mount your webcam on your desk. Both of these cameras will do 1080p at 30 frames per second and 720p at 30 frames per second. But the new C922 also supports 60 frames per second at 720p, which is really designed for gamers and for live streaming while gaming. Now while Logitech does now have on Mac Logitech camera control software to give you some manual control over your camera, for this video both webcams are set to auto. The Logitech camera settings app will work with both cameras and they'll give you things like manual focus, the ability to lock down whether it's capturing 50 hertz or 60 hertz for PAL or NTSC for flicker reduction, and your standard settings like brightness, contrast, color intensity, and white balance. Now something Logitech does really well with its webcams is to deliver you a great image straight after plugging the camera in. And it's no different with these two. You can see the image quality on both of them is fantastic. Now looking at the two pictures side by side, the Logitech C922 is slightly brighter. Now in our tests, the autofocus did seem slightly more responsive and more accurate with the C922, but both of them were pretty good. Now while both of these webcams will let you record at 1080p 30 frames per second using software like QuickTime on Mac, which is what we're doing right now, the Logitech C920 won't let you make calls using apps like Skype at 1080p. They'll be limited to 720p, at least on Mac. On PC though, you can actually make calls with Skype with the Logitech C920 at 1080p 30 frames per second. Whereas the C922 will let you make video calls at 1080p both on Mac and on PC using programs like Skype. The other new feature that comes with the Logitech C922 is background removal and it uses software or additional virtual webcam called Personify. Unfortunately though, this is for Windows only. But when I say unfortunately, it's probably not too much of a loss because in our tests and a heap of other videos I've seen online, it doesn't really work that well. A lot of the time it ends up masking out your hands or any hand movement. The edges of your face and your hair look terrible and it really doesn't work well at all if your head isn't facing directly at the camera. So my suggestion then, no matter which one of these webcams you're using and whether you're using Mac or PC, if you want background removal, use a green screen or a blue screen and you'll get much better results. Now the Logitech C922 in its 60 frames per second 720p mode does look pretty good. It has lost quite a bit of detail and it's a softer image, but the 60 frames per second works as it should and pushes through a much smoother video image. So this is the Logitech C922 at 720p 60 frames per second. So while you won't see the 60 frames per second in motion or in action in this video because it's gonna be exported at 25 frames per second, you will see the quality loss. You will see not just the quality loss because of the resolution change, because we were at 1080, now we're at 720, but you will see the quality loss in, in the detail. It almost looks like the beauty mode or the selfie mode on Samsung smartphones, where it softens the details in order to make you look more beautiful. But as a small webcam outputting 720p 60 frames per second, it does a pretty good job. So here's what the audio sounds like between the two. This is the Logitech C920, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is the Logitech C922, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
So you can see there's not a huge difference between the two. So for this shot here, I've actually got two softbox lights that are lighting me up. Let's see how the webcams go when I turn those lights off. So you can see now the Logitech C922 has a slightly brighter image, at least in the darker areas of this shot. So which one should you get and is it worth the upgrade? Well, straight out, if you want 60 frames per second at 720p, then it's a no brainer to go the C922. Probably the biggest advantage that the C922 has over the C920, as far as I'm concerned, is the 1080p video calling. So using apps or programs like Skype and having that ability to make calls in 1080p. I do like the slightly faster and slightly more accurate autofocus on the Logitech C922 as well. If you're just looking for a decent camera to record 1080p, 30 frames per second videos directly into your computer, then they're gonna be much of a muchness. So there's the side-by-side -side comparison of the Logitech C920 and the Logitech C922 webcams. If you're interested in finding out how you can get great results recording your Skype calls, then check out the video that's linked on the screen now. I'll see you soon.